Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn about the principles involved in curriculum and what's the meaning for curriculum, its definition and how to organize a curriculum in a better way. The word curriculum is derived from the Latin word cura which means to run. It's a course for reaching a goal. We can define the curriculum as a pathway to reach a goal. Cunningham has defined curriculum as a tool in the hands of an artist. Here the artist is nothing but the teacher who is there. To mold this material, the pupil, according to his ideas, that is the aims and objective, what is the aim of teaching the particular subject or the lesson. In his studio or the school, uh, his studio is nothing but the place where we teach the content. So Cunningham defines curriculum as a tool in the ha hands of an artist to mold his material according to his ideas, that is the aims and objectives in his studio or the school. Okay. So this definition very clearly tells that it is in the hands of a teacher to mold his pupil according to the aims and objectives of teaching a content to the students. So the word curriculum is derived from the Latin word cura which means to run. Traditionally curriculum uh, refers to the syllabus or the lessons which are in a particular uh, theme. Now we have uh, uh, can say curriculum as a totality of experiences that we get in a educational setup. It might be a classroom or uh, any kind of environment where it is an environmental setup where you receive all the kind of experience not only educating but also the other extracurricular, co-curricular activities and life experiences, personality training, everything comes under the modern concept of curriculum. When we look into learning of biology in curriculum, it includes a subject matter and also the co-curricular activities that will promote the interest, attitude, projects and uh, debates, assignments, everything among the children. So as a teacher of biology, we should not teach only the subject matter to the students but also make them involved in real life experiments and make them understand the projects very easily. So that uh, science learning becomes more interesting and utilizing subject in their life cycle. Principles of curriculum construction. When we look into the curriculum construction, there are eight principles. Uh, the first principle is principle of child centeredness. The child centered is nothing but whatever you teach the subject, it should be based on the needs nature and the interest of the students so that it will enhance their skill, attitude and train them in life skills. This is what meant by the child centered principle. Then the next principle is activity centered. That is nothing but where the child should learn anything by doing, uh, by living, by doing, getting their life experiences. John Dewey also says that uh, I acquire useful experiences rather than I learn through my education. So through this uh, we say that curriculum should give in importance to the individual lab work and that is and also we should take them to the field trips so that the life learning becomes more activity based. The next principle is principle of creativity that is nothing but where opportunities are there for the development of the creative abilities among the students. The student should become an observer, discoverer of many projects and also they should experience uh, the uh, life experiments and also various kinds of experiences in learning of biology. Then principle of elasticity and variety. According to this principle, the children should have uh, the curriculum which is based on the dynamic needs of the society. It should uh, fit to the needs of the society. They should exhibit and develop interest and attitude so that it enhances the child's ability. The next principle is principle of integration. Uh, learning of biology is not a single subject. It should involve different aspects and subject knowledge of various subjects should be involved. 
டேக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வென் யூ லேர்ன் அபவுட் த சாயில் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் வேர் யூ லேர்ன் அபவுட் த கெமிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் த சாயில் த பிஹெச் ஆஃப் த சாயில் த பிளான்ஸ் க்ரோயிங் இன் தட் பர்டிகுலர் சாயில் வாட் டைப் ஆஃப் சாயில் வில் பி சூட்டபிள் ஃபார் பிச் டைப் ஆஃப் பிளான்ட் எவ்ரி திங் ஷுட் பி லேர்ன்ட் இன் அ இன்டெகிரேட்டட் மேனர் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் அ பிரின்சிபிள் ஆஃப் இன்டெகிரேஷன் அண்ட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் பிரின்சிபிள் இஸ் பிரின்சிபிள் ஆஃப் கம்யூனிட்டி சென்டர்ட்னஸ் வேர் த சைல்ட் வில் பி ஏபிள் டு ஃபேஸ் த ரெக்குயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த சொசைட்டி நார்மலி வி எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் எஜுகேஷன் ஷுட் பி ரிலேட்டட் வித் யர் லைஃப் ஸ்கில்ஸ் இஸ் இட் நாட் ஸோ தே ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு ஃபேஸ் அ சொசைட்டி லிவ் அ லீட் அ வெரி ஹாப்பி லைஃப் வென் தே லேர்ன் த கண்டென்ட் இன் த ஸ்கூல்ஸ் ஸோ இட் ஷுட் பி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த ரெக்குயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கம்யூனிட்டி இன் விச் தே லிவ் then the next one is a principle of forwardness it should uh, prepare them for their future life isn't it it should be uh, beneficial to them they should be able to cope up with the environment take for example at the present condition of this covid 19 everybody is able to understand the importance of keeping them um, very clean safe uh, and maintaining social distance everything so they should be adjustable with the environment it should uh, provide them a knowledge about the futuristic problems and also able to solve them in a scientific way that is a principle of forwardness then principle of conservation they should be able to protect the environment after learning biology they should be knowing the ways how to conserve the culture tradition and the environment in which they live they it should promote scientific and functional knowledge about the ways and means of conserving and preserving the environment in which they live so if the principles are applied then the curriculum will be very useful for the students to learn in the society there are uh, two stages in curriculum construction number one is selection of selection of appropriate content and uh, and the second stage is the organizing the content which is selected there uh, the selection of the appropriate content is there where Uh, they should have uh, it should be based upon the level nature interest uh, of the students and also the needs of the society then uh, the content organization how you arrange the content it should be based on a systematic way uh, based on the objectives of teaching that is from lower level to uh, simple to complex logical it should be uh, giving some reason out it should be based on the psychological order and it should be in a continuous manner then only the content will be uh arranged in a proper way so in the curriculum construction there are two stages one is selection of the proper content to the students and also organizing the content to the level of the student and when we look into the types of content curriculum there are two main types one is subject centered con- curriculum and the other one is activity centered curriculum the subject centered curriculum is where the child will be uh, the curriculum will be based upon the subject which are involved the activity centered curriculum will give importance to the learner his level of uh, understanding and how, what are the means ways of learning the particular subject so when we provide a curriculum in this way then the curriculum construction and curriculum will be very useful for the students to mold them and understand the subject content in a very better way thank you